we're doing a full tour of this cave. Excitement and it's a building, and I really don't know what we're gonna find. This is so cool. There's a hole in the ground. We have an amazing plan that we just came up with this morning. The neighbors are all packing up their tents and we remember the days. It was so easy to sleep in. Coffee time. Coffee time. What a beautiful morning. Waking up today in the Shawnee National Forest. How'd you sleep? Oh, I slept really well. I love it. Oh, me too. Our adventure today on the border of Illinois, and it's called Cave in Rock State Park. I guess you just have to see <laughs> what we have to do to get there. Yeah, <laughs> actually when we leave. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully insurance covers it. Uh, this is the first. <laughs> this is the first for the van, for sure. Again, we have the whole place to ourselves. We made it to Cave and Rock State Park. This is in Illinois, but you see across that river, that's Kentucky. There is a lot going on at this park, even though it's only one little loop drive. There's the little store. You can stay in cabins along the river. And this is the Ohio River, which is funny because we're not in Ohio. We're gonna follow the river and follow the signs all the way to the cave because the cave is located right on the river. Cave, that way. You can drive this road all the way around. It's a big loop, but we're running a little bit low on gas. Driven about a hundred miles through the Shawnee National Forest without seeing a single gas station. Not quite running on fumes yet, but I don't know, definitely don't want to run out of gas in a van. <laughs> it's nice to stretch our legs anyway, so yeah. we're just taking a hike to find the cave. Along the way, there are so many little places to stop. You can have a picnic. We've even seen some fire pits. So you can kind of have a barbecue out here. So right behind me is the ferry that crosses the Ohio River. This one only has a capacity for 12. So it's gonna be pretty interesting getting the van on there. At the end of this episode, we've got to head on over to Chattanooga where we're gonna do some more hiking and sightseeing and waterfalls with Paul's brother. There are no bridges around this area. And if you wanna go from Illinois to Kentucky, we have to actually cross using a ferry. So I guess we're gonna do it. And we have a gas station on the other side, so we kinda of have to do it. But we're taking our whole home across anyway, and uh, that's for later. For now, where are these caves? The state parks and the national parks all in Illinois are completely free. But there's not a whole lot of information sometimes about how to get places and what, like where this cave is. Yeah. We just kind of open up Google Maps and hope for the best. <laughs> sometimes that's part of the adventure anyway. I think we found it. This is a cool bit of trivia. In 1962, the movie How the West Was Won, there was a scene filmed in the cave down there. Can't wait to see what this looks like. When you get to the stairs, if you go to the right, there's a little bit of a watchtower. But if you go straight down to the water, veer left, that'll lead you right to the cave. So far, this place is massive. It's some big rock. There are these huge cliffs on my left and the Ohio River on the right, which actually looks like a really good paddling spot. Yeah, it's nice real. and flat today. And it's just beautiful. It's like a little beach. Let's see what this looks like. Oh Whoa. my gosh. It is so high. <laughs> this is way bigger than it looked like in the pictures. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, I think we can go in it. I yeah. wasn't even expecting that, but we literally, again, have this whole place to ourselves. I, I love it. I love it. I don't think there's anybody in the cave, but we're wondering how far does this thing actually go back there? Because it echoes pretty good. Let's climb in this cave. It's 
starting to feel colder. Like, I want to say it's 10 degrees colder than just 20 feet back at the entrance. I have never done this before. I don't like going underground. I feel a little better because I can see the sunshine still, but you have no idea what lies ahead. And I'm definitely feeling like excitement and it's building and I really don't know what we're gonna find. So you're coming with us. I think we're gonna find Batman. <laughs> oh, there's a snake. Whoa. But somebody warned us on the way in that there was a dead snake. Paul, that means there's rattlesnakes in here. That's a rattlesnake. Really? Yeah. Look at the... Holy cow. Don't go looking under any crevices, okay? <laughs> I could see you doing that. Don't do uh -huh. it. I had no idea something like this was out here. And have it all to ourselves. Really an incredible experience. in this cave. This is so cool. It's amazing that the cave comes back this far from the river. That must be 30 feet high at least. Up to the crack, probably more like 40, 50 feet. There are like a hundred little birds all around the inside of the cave. We'll have to make sure to capture one of those nests. They're really cool looking. It looks like this cave keeps going, but I think it stops right there. Okay, you ready? We're gonna put some flashlight on here. Whoa. Doesn't it look kind of ghosty? Yeah. Whoa, what is that? Okay, shine the light over there. There's a bear! That's not even funny because <laughs> I, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> Caves can be hazardous. I was looking straight up because everything looked so cool and uh, something dripped directly in my eye, you know, and it hurt because it was, well, I think just the pressure of it falling down, but then I don't know what's in that either, so I'm kind of flushing out my eye. I mean, who knows what kind of dirt is in there? Like oh. bat guano? I'm gonna look horrible the rest of this video. Oh, I think you look good. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I cannot believe how amazing that was. Wow, it's so dark in there. My eyes got used to the pitch black. Seriously, it's so bright out here. So now to check out the birds that are kind of making nests right on the outside of this cave. After some research, we believe these birds are swallows and most likely the cliff swallow, although it could have also been a cave swallow. They look pretty similar. We watch them fly back and forth to their mud nests and all while chirping away. There's a lot of parks that we visit. You get to the main attraction and you see graffiti, which it kind of sucks, but this one actually has me puzzled though. This cave is so big, so tall, I don't know how they got graffiti on the ceiling. The couple of writings were dated 1913. That's a long time ago. And there's a couple of them. And then there's also 2011. So it kind of makes you wonder if maybe twice in the history that maybe that's when the water was actually that high and you were able to do it. I mean, who knows? Wouldn't that be something? We might have to research that one.
Yeah, it was crazy how high this writing was up in this cave, like 55, 60 feet tall. We gotta research it and find out. What exactly happened in 1913? Maybe search Ohio River flooding 1913. Oh, wow. In the Great Flood of 1913, heavy rains flooded the Ohio River more than ever before. It was pretty serious. Around 650 people lost their lives. And again in 2011, it flooded to heights around 55 feet again. I guess that's how the writing got up there on the ceiling. Before we leave this place, I wanted to check out the water. Oh, I saw a fish jump. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's some serious Whoa. mud. We almost lost you guys. Oh. 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 No, no, not my brand new shoes. All that to fill the water. Here, I'll hold on to you. It's not too cold. I can't believe I got my shoes that dirty. Oh, darn. So, guys, it's time to catch the ferry. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I'm pretty nervous, but we gotta catch it before it starts to rain. That wind just kicked up and the ferry does uh, halt service when the wind gets too high. I just feel like we definitely need to make sure we're on that ferry. <laughs> this is the cave. I doubt anyone was up here while we were down there, but it's possible. <laughs> you feel like you're all alone, but you can see them right here. It's like a trick mirror. I think that's it. Ferry route. Oh, I think they're just getting here. No way. I think we just stopped right there. We just missed it by like five minutes. So let's make these moments. Make these moments the Cape and Rock Ferry is a free ride connecting two highways from Illinois to Kentucky. As long as the weather holds up, it runs daily from sunup to sundown. It only takes about 15 minutes to cross the Ohio River. Most of the people riding are locals, but for us it's a unique experience. Usually this kind of sightseeing costs money, so it's pretty cool that this is free. Okay, it's our turn. Let's go. I don't know, do we just go? Oh, he waved yeah. you in? He waved me in. I don't know how I feel about taking oh this God. on a ferry. Oh shoot. There's no turning back now. Yeah. Oh boy, we're on the water. Somebody just struck up a conversation with Paul. Not a lot of YouTubers, I think, out here in Illinois, and everyone keeps staring at us like, what are we doing? I can't believe this is a free ride across the river. That is so cool. Otherwise, we'd have to drive a long way around. Are we still able to be out here? I think so. I was just talking to some of the locals. They were telling me about Garden of the Gods and the cave in a rock. No way, and yeah. that's exactly where we've been. Yeah, they live only 20 miles from here, and they said uh, there's a museum here. The mineral in Illinois is fluorite, which he says is, is in fluoride, the toothpaste. Oh, did so, you feel that? Yeah, I did. What was that? <laughs> we were right there at the cave. This is nice that they have this ferry right here. You guys ought to check out that museum over here. Hey, you said there was a museum of fluorite. Which is the state mineral for Illinois. Nice to meet you guys. Uh -huh. you, too. you too. This was awesome. That was so cool. Oh my god. Look at this. Thank you. No That's Whoa. the funnest free ride we've ever got. That was awesome. Then we're on to Tennessee. Tennessee, here we come. We'd love for you to join us on our next adventure as we embark on one of our most challenging hikes yet. But we make it through with the promise of stunning waterfalls all to ourselves. Okay, that was awesome. I found Bigfoot. Look out, he's gonna get you. <laughs> he's got a butt and everything. Really? <laughs> We've been searching for you everywhere, and here you are, at Garden of the Gods. Does that mean he's a god? You know, he probably is. We'll take care of this place. We'll see you next time.